Well, the war on meat's been going on for longer than I've been alive, but I guess you could say the first shots have officially been fired. Just two days ago, we spoke about fake meat replacing real meat, and two weeks ago, I did a video on the food crisis that was simulated five years ago by Cargill. I mean, at this point, there are probably two dozen videos on my channel talking about this, especially since the meat plant workers were getting sick last year. And these crazy, crazy, crazy media blitzes are absolutely disgusting. Almost 20 articles found with one quick Google search. They want you to know exactly what they're doing. The predictive programming is here, forcing Americans to do exactly what they want. Since this is all fake and they probably never even stop production, it's just to create an artificial shortage through fear mongering, getting people to over purchase meat, just like they caused that artificial gas shortage. What was that only two weeks ago? Now, this could even be a stunt by the cattle industry to drive more sales and get meat off the shelves. A cyber attack on JBS SA, the largest meat producer globally, has forced the shutdown of some of world's largest slaughterhouses, and there are signs that the closures are spreading. JBS's five biggest beef plants in the US, which altogether handle 22,500 cattle a day, have halted processing following a weekend attack on the company's computer networks, according to JBS posts on Facebook, labor unions, and employees. Oh no, the cyber attack was so severe that the JBS employees are still posting on Facebook about it. Like, hold on, JBS employees are posting on Facebook the same day they're under a cyber attack? It, how does that make sense? Isn't there like a priority system of, of not putting anything on social media, not even logging into computer systems? Those outages alone have wiped out nearly a fifth of America's production. Slaughter operations across Australia were also down, according to a trade group. One of Canada's largest beef plants was idled for a second day. You know what's even more comical than these fake attacks? the excuses they give for shutting down the plants. Some of their knife sharpening machines are computerized, Reader said. Some of the lines are timed by computers. All of that stuff is crucial. Basically, they're down until further notice. Let me tell you guys something. When I have a slaughterhouse, it's not going to operate on computers that with the press of a button by our globalist overlords can be turned off so you're not eating meat anymore. I wanna know more. How you know, does a ransomware attack cause your computerized knife sharpening machine to shut down? It's almost like they know boomers can't even use a cell phone and the rest of the generations are already brainwashed into vegan nonsense. So no one's going to even question, oh no, a computer. Oh, it's too complicated. In a press conference earlier today, White House Deputy Press Secretary Karine Jean-Pierre described the attack as coming from a criminal organization likely based in Russia. JBS has yet to disclose whether the attack involved ransomware, although the broad shutdowns are consistent with the effects of a ransomware attack. Really? So you're able to figure out that this complex unknown cyber attack came from Russia within hours of it happening, but you're too stupid to cut up a cow with a knife? And if you hear anything blamed on Russia, you know, that's code word for CIA operation. High level secret society members running this planet that are calling the shots really think you're all that fucking stupid that they can just say, oh, Russia, Russia, yeah, Russia's bad. <laughs> the what is more divide and conquer ridiculousness? Has the average person in America even ever met a Russian person? Yes, your tax dollars are being sent to an organization that is complicit in taking food directly from the mouths of people it's supposedly helping. The goal of the CIA is basically to conduct operations on the American public, not protect them from operations conducted on them. I actually made a video pointing out uh, that that Out of Shadows documentary was a CIA psychological warfare operation and they took it down you know, wiping the truth off YouTube within hours. So say hi to the CIA crook watching this video if he's not too busy masturbating to homosexual porn. The FBI is investigating. <laughs> so what are they investigating themselves? Or, or is the FBI investigating the CIA? 
Or are they just having a giant gay sex party because their lack of red meat consumption made them favor the same sex? And this is no offense to uh, the LGBTQ community. You know, I would love to stop eating meat and, and party with vegan fairy boys all day. It's, it's far more fun than, than what I have to do in my day-to-day -day life. But, you know, we've made videos explaining that if babies and young children are exposed to estrogen, to soy, to plant-based foods, they start looking at the same sex. Boys look at boys, girls look at girls, but that's what Globo Homo wants. So, too bad. Obvious symbolism here, the JBS logo is similar to an all-seeing eye, and you can even look at the CBS News logo. It's amazing I never noticed this crap most of my life, and the average American is completely clueless, hidden in plain sight. They're all in the club, following orders by a bunch of psychopaths to terrorize the masses. Meat market analysts said plant closures resulting from the JBS hack could soon lead to higher consumer prices, which have climbed for many cuts this year due to high demand and a tight labor market. Even one day of disruption will significantly impact the beef market and wholesale beef prices. I mean, meat prices have already skyrocketed from my supply perspective over 30, 40, 50% for some cuts like ribeye and strip. So I can't imagine this getting much worse, even though I don't buy directly from JBS, you know, they have their hands in every market, even grass fed. And it's a major reason why I'm trying to get my own operation up and running that doesn't take orders from these psychopaths. JBS released a statement Tuesday night, indicating most of its food plants will be open Wednesday. Given the progress of our IT professionals and plant <laughs> <laughs> IT professionals, ooh, this is, this is hilarious. And plant teams have made in the last 24 hours, the vast majority of our beef, pork, poultry, and prepared foods plants will be operational tomorrow, said Andre Noguera, CEO of JBS USA. So JBS's statements indicate that there shouldn't be any issues, but this article from last year is a simple answer to everything. Klaus Schwab. Cyber attack worse than COVID-19 crisis. Power grid down. Banking offline. Are the globalists behind the cyber attack or are they psychic? If these motherfuckers are psychic, please tell me when I'm going to be kidnapped by a bunch of Russian girls and tied to a tree in Siberia. I don't think they're psychic. I think Darth Vader wants to keep you in fear so he can continue to have Brazilian boys wax his bald ass head. I'm hoping this doesn't get too much worse in the very near future. Otherwise, there may be even more problems running my business. You know, although it would give me a nice excuse to run off to a beach somewhere. I am curious, though, on the larger, more important scale, you know, what's going to happen over the next few months, year or two, with the general public, with meat prices, with the market. Uh, so thank you guys for joining me. Hopefully you enjoyed this. I know that I usually do a whiteboard video today, but I'll, I'll just do it on Thursday or Friday instead because it's very rare that news stories I can talk about are, are so popular and so mainstream, but this was just one of them, and I, I kind of have to do it the next day as opposed to waiting until you know Friday or a different day. Uh, so if you guys could check out frank com to support me further, drop a like on the video, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week, and check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. Thanks again, guys. I'll see you for tomorrow.